Your father was the best. He was a genius. I don't believe a mind like his can just shut down. It started about a week ago. I woke up, came downstairs, made a cup of coffee, and before I could pour in the milk, it was like someone turned the light on in my head. It's a story, and it's a very true story. It's, it's finding that balance between what do, how do I want to live my life? It's about how you can love and hate somebody at the same time. I think it's about human relationship, uh, human loneliness, um, the, the fact that you can have a loving family but there's a way in which they can still sometimes miss each other in the dark. And it's about the sadness of a man who is maybe even a genius at what he does and completely loses his capacity for work and the effect it has on people who are equally important, i.e. the rest of his family. So when you, when you look at Cathy, I mean, the thing that her struggle is obviously dealing with a father who had a mental disability, uh, who had a mental degeneration over an extended period of time uh, from his early 20s and she fears that she is going to be experiencing that herself. It's about chasing your dreams and about ambition and about what do you do with that, that desire. Do you let everything go and do you fall in love and have that life or do you really go, look, I'm, I'm going to raise the bar, I'm going to be as brilliant a mind and sacrifice everything to try and do that. And I think people do that all the time. People are, especially nowadays living in London, people are always pushing, 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 pushing to be, to be something, to be validated, to be, to be recognised. She can handle herself, Claire. She can handle talking to me. Maybe what? Let's help. Maybe she'd like it. Maybe she'd like it? Are you out of your mind? You're the reason she's up there right now. You have no idea what she needs. You don't know her. She's my sister. Jesus Christ, you fucking mathematicians. You don't think. You don't know what you're doing. You stagger around creating these catastrophes and there's people like me who end up flying in to clean them up. It's exciting because I know it's going to be really good. It's exciting because I, I know that it's a great play. It's exciting because I'm working with really good actors. It's exciting because we've got a great director. I feel this play could be dangerous if, you know, in a good way, in the sense that the actors will, f will not know what they're going to be doing moment to moment when they're on that stage. Eventually, I think we're going to get to such a good place with the grounding within the characters of this where we can truly let go and uh, provide something quite spectacular.